London, which tonight... O'Leary loves the edge of night, though dim to him the world looks bright. He's got the gift of second sight. To triple it like fantastic! As you triple it like fantastic, won't you? In the role of Mary Poppins, we all love her. Let's show her how much it is the extraordinary Emily Blunt! <laughs> Can I hear it for Colin Firth as well? <laughs> Playing John Banks, please welcome Nathaniel Sally. Mark Shaw, you can give in to the dark, or you can trip a little light fantastic with me. When you're alone in your room, your choice is just embrace the gloom. Or you can trip a little life fantastic. will be here. Ow. The fabulous bed. On until the dawn, it's dark, it's right before the light. As you trip a little light, fantastic. Won't you trip a little light, fantastic? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is as if we planned it. This is amazing. Our first arrival playing Jack, the son of Bert, everyone's favourite Cockney. Please give a huge London welcome to Lynn Manuel Miranda. Please don't feel blue, for in this part of London town. <laughs>
when the fog comes rolling in, just keep your feet upon the path. Mustn't mope and frown, or worse, lie down. Don't let it be your effort So when. Looking very slick tonight. Thank you. Um, welcome to the European premiere of Mary Poppins Returns. Excited? Yeah, very, very happy for people to finally see the film. Yeah. What do you think their expectations are and what do you think they'll, they'll feel when they see it? Well, I guess expectations are really high, aren't they? Because <laughs> it's been 54 years since the first... To thank for finally a sequel 54 years later. <laughs> Well, it was a labor of love, that's for sure. Every second of it, every moment of it was very special for us. The first film means a lot to us, and so to usher in that beautiful spirit from that film into this new story. That's, I think, why we waited for 54 years, <laughs> for when Rob to be ready. Oh, I don't know about yeah. that. That's very kind, so, yes. John. <laughs> I feel like your life is just one big musical. Real life really <laughs> poppins at times <laughs> to keep him in check. Yeah, they were so special. I just, I'm so fond of them. I love those kids. What was the scariest moment on set and what was on the look at okay said it's a Christmas gift to everyone. So oh, well, thank she's you. our gift, that's for sure. <laughs> Everybody in this cast was. Was the hardest part the start of this project in terms of knowing? We wanted to pay great homage to that first perfect, beautiful, beloved film. But at the same time, we were looking for our own path and to create a completely original story and a completely original score. I know, yeah, amazing, yeah, and lots of lovely people here, lots of fans here, 
Yeah, they were kept at bay. We had a, um, a world premiere in LA, which I went lucky enough to go to a couple of weeks ago, and they were kept a little bit at bay, but it's... Jack was an apprentice to Bert in the first film, but the thing about that is Bert had like 20 jobs in that first film. He <laughs> cleaned chimneys and he played 12 instruments, so when who sees this movie agrees. It's crazy, isn't it? She genuinely is like... Yeah, she, she walks in and there she is. Yeah, was that slightly... What was that experience like on set when you saw her? Face Topsy, please put your hands together for Mel Street! I mean, he's, he's just done an amazing job. He really has, and you are to talk to you tonight, including Edith, who will be waiting for you further down the car. So, Meryl, I'll let you go just now. Meryl Streep! Thank you! On second thoughts, perhaps you're right. It makes no sense to take a bath this early. Wait! I want to take a bath! Oh, wait. Up you go, and in you go. Georgie! This is outrageous. This is amazing. It's fantastic. I know you've arrived at a very busy time because Meryl just arrived. You've arrived at a very busy time because Meryl just arrived as well. I saw that. Yeah, she 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 uh, brings quite. Come on, it's work. You see, there's nothing to it. Can you speak Larry Nathan? Can I speak Lear? To me, Rob Marshall conducting this symphony like like no one else on this planet could. Yeah, no one could have done it. You say no one could have played this part apart from Ellen and Lee. About how you inject hope and wonder and imagination. Uh, be part of something that was such a big part of my childhood. Yeah, and yeah. everyone's as well. It's, yeah. it's, it, was it really, from reading the script, was it pretty evident how special this was going to be? It was. Late, late November, early December. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was... It, the, the, the promise of it... I'm so happy to be here right now. 